What is up, my beautiful people? Hello there. My beautiful puddlings. So you know what? I'm having a really good day today. It's positive. I've finished work. I'm on my way home. It's a good day. It's a good day. And we're out on the bike. So what better thing to discuss? Work, bike, a good day. <laughs> Commuting to work. What it's like commuting to work on a motorbike or a motorcycle if you're American. But nonetheless, this is not a waffle episode, Adam, pud, you little bleep. There you go. I've just bleeped it out myself so that I don't have to bleep it in the editing process, just make it easier. Anyway, regardless, I think a very standout thing for someone who commutes, because not only do I commute, I commute all year round, all weathers. Ooh, you're hard, showing off. So, I'll just start. One of the standout things is the weather is going to affect you. <laughs> and it may affect your mood. Fortunately for me, I quite like riding in wet weather. So, it doesn't really negatively affect my mood if I get wet, wet baby. Oh, wet. But some days you get good days. And today, it's quite sunny. It's a little bit overcast. But today is a good day. It was sunny at... On the way to work, it is now sunny on the way home from work. I cannot com complain. Do you like weather? Some days you get, it's a very incredibly soggy wet day and you're gonna get piss wet through. But I've just got a spare pair of clothes in my locker at work for a rainy day. It's basically my rainy day clothes. <laughs> so it's no biggie. And then I don't care if I get wet on the way home because I can just go inside and change and get my wanger out. And my ass. The asshole. Don't know why so much emphasis on that, Adam. The terrible days, though, they're the ones where you start the ride in the sun. Oh, and it doesn't end in the sun. No, 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 you're not lucky enough for that. It ends in wet skyjays all over you. And you're not happy about it. Trust me, you know, even someone who likes riding in the wet, when you're expecting a dry ride and it turns... Mm, drizzly! It's not the best combo. But I want to just let you into a little secret about commuting on a motorbike that I find is probably one of the better things. So we all know what motorbiking is like, unless you don't motorbike, of course. It's one of the most freeing feelings you can possibly imagine. So having this as your morning and evening commute is already hands down better than a car. But if you wake up on a Monday morning and there's that Obviously, there's that pain of, I've got to go to work. It's a Monday morning, the weekend's over. I have to get up and go to work. If you set off on a Monday morning, you know, quarter of an hour early, take the long route, take the scenic route. Honestly, one of these bad boys has the power to change your outlook on that day round. And it really does. But the more important one for me, that comes at the end of a day. If you've had a stressful day, if you've just had a pretty shitty day, you can get on one of these, go for a ride anywhere if you want, or even just ride home. And just being on it, being on it makes you feel like I can be exactly who I am. And I think that's what comes out in the videos, you know, because I never have any worries when I'm riding the bike. I'm not bothered. I'll just, unless I'm pissing and moaning about like thieves or something. <laughs> in general, biking makes me very happy. Very, very happy. And when, you know, we've, we've got to go to work and we've got to do this grind <laughs> to survive and pay for things. What's so bad about having something lovely to get you there and back? Enjoying the ride because commuting, commuting can feel mundane and commuting can feel like you're part of that. Just part of the crowd going from A to B at seven o'clock and five o'clock, you, you know, to and from work. But on a bike, it's like, it's like you've hacked the system, you've hacked life and everyone else is doing something and you're doing something completely different and when you see other bikers commuting, it's like you've got that nod of approval for each other and it's not just the biking nod, it's like a, yeah, we know this is the way to do things nod and let's not even get started on this because this is definitely, uh, unless there's a van like that of course, then that's, that's not good, it's alright, I want him. What the fuck are you doing? Who the hell are you? I'm going down. Oh, yes. 
I'm gonna just slot in here. It's a nice little safe spot. That is right there. A re the the sole reason before any other why you need to get a bike and start commuting on a motorbike because the amount of time saved from not queuing in rush hour it feels criminal and depending on how you ride the bike it potentially is going to be criminal not for me though law abiding shitterson oh shall we go a longer way i think i'm i'm thinking a longer way No, I'm not. I'm just gonna get in this gap here. I didn't even expect to do that then, but then I thought, there's another biker, there is a brethren, I'm gonna slot in that gap and go the way I wanted to go. But yeah, filtering is the sole reason you need, really. You don't need the other reasons. Filtering, sole reason. And you will find, if you are a biker, and you commute, or you filter, people just get wound up with you. And they get wound up with you because you're doing exactly what they can, skipping the rush hour, skipping the queues, skipping the the long waits, you know. Everyone's so frustrated because you, you're trying to get home. Everyone's stressed in the morning because you're in a queue but you need to get to work on time. Everyone's stressed on an evening because you've been at work and you want to get home and the queue's just stopping you from getting home. Get a bike, you can get back quicker. As Jeremy Clarkson says, the quicker you can get home the more time you can spend with your kids and the less likely they are to be glue sniffers and i think you should live like live life by that mantra mantra mon ma mantra 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 say however you want jesus christ and i have got a three month old child and i do not want him to be a glue sniffer so commuting to work on a bike is a necessity and that's all you need to say if anyone ever questions it say all right will you drive a car do you you commute in a car you want your kids to be drug dealers <laughs> all right i'm kidding car drivers don't take it so personal geez just buy a bike that fixes the issue and also you can start a motor vlogging channel like yours truly and make those you know mundane everyday drives an entertaining ride and not only for you but you can use it to help other people, to entertain other people, or even to make other people despise you if they're so inclined. But I am hoping that you are not so inclined. You are beautiful humans supporting a a another beautiful human. Yep. <laughs> Love yourself. Oh God, what am I saying today? What? Stop talking bullshit. And not only that, your work colleagues, you become the bike guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? You become the guy at work who won, Never has to drive people anywhere to go and get lunch. <laughs> Two, never has to... I don't know. Two, never has to drive to pick up things from sites and... I don't know. I, I said one and I was so confident there was going to be more than one option, but they, I just couldn't think of anything else. But I'm the bike guy. This is not just any bike guy. This is an M&S bike guy. Hey, buddy, I got a Tesla. Check out my Tesla. Become the bike guy commute to work on a bike if you also commute to work on a bike you just have to hit it in the comments you've got to hit the like comment and if you've not subscribed you've got to subscribe it's like a rule if you are a biker you've got to subscribe you just have to i don't make the rules the biking community makes the rules you subscribing to pudmore right now is basically like the biker nod would you be disrespectful enough to not do the biker nod i don't think so I'd certainly subscribe to you if you were saying that it's equivalent to the bike and odd. So now you've sort of got to, and you've got to want to as well. <laughs> I'm so joking. <laughs> I have so much purpose when riding a bike. Here we go. Off we go again. Can we get through the middle of there? That's a bit tight, to be fair. We're not going to bother. Well, it's not tight. I can get through there, but I'm not going to bother. Yeah, I've had so many people get really, really wound up at me. Oh. Nice one on your phone. Just casually texting at lights. Texting his booty call. He's like, here you love. I'm putting my thong, thong on tonight. It's each to their own, I suppose. Nah, he didn't really. He were uh, stopping at the lights to uh, subscribe to Pudmoto. Now, I don't condone it, but you know, sometimes needs must. And I'm gonna, I was gonna let him out, but then I thought, 
should I, should I let him out? Should I really let him out? Does he deserve it? I decided against it then. You know why? Because he's not commuting on a bike. <laughs> Neg one of the negatives though, because obviously you're out on the bike twice a day, Monday to Friday, the amount of, t and you're out at that time when there is a lot of other people out on the roads, people who are wound up, who are going to work, people who are annoyed because of rush hour, whatever. You get pulled out on a lot, man. You get pulled out on, there's pissy people on the road. It's just not the best sometimes in terms of other road users. But as long as you're vigilant and just ride your ride and basically try your best to prevent you being thrown 300 feet in the air and coming back down with a big old crash. That's like the most obvious statement ever, isn't it? Like, don't try, try prevent yourself from crashing. As if people go out and they're like, right, I want, I felt cute, might crash today. Fortunately, today we've we've not had too busy of a day. Not that it matters, wait! Sorry, yeah. Hey, no, it's genuinely the traffic's not been bad at all today, so we've had a little bit of filterage, but other than that, pretty pretty mild to be honest. Yeah, commu commuting on a bike, the positives outweigh the negatives tenfold because not only that, then you've got cheaper fuel as well. Cheaper fuel, fit all your work stuff in a backpack. I mean, it's not ideal if you've got a job where you need to carry big things around. I don't know, like a, a snooker player or a scaffolder. If you're a scaffolder and you don't have a van, where are you going to put all them pipes? I mean, you can't have them sticking out. Although, you could make yourself look like a cool version of like some Mad Max shit. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? I'm just going to go past. That's quite big. I do not trust that junction ever. I've been pulled out on that junction like countless times and it is awful. All in all though, commuting on a motorbike, if you don't take anything else away from this, okay, take this away. You're saving the planet. Boom, mic drop, saving the planet. So if everyone could just ride a motorbike to and from work, maybe there'd be no more wars. No more wars. Save the planet, love one another. Nah, you don't have to love one another, but ride a bike. Love you. <laughs>